I'll always love going to Pirates game no matter how long or short they are. And you're going tomorrow. They play today as well. How's the weather going to be for that? So I kind of wish I went today. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I've been looking at it all week and I've been keeping the rain out of the forecast. I was like, OK, it's not going to rain on Sunday. I should be good to go. And you know how things always change at the last minute. Yep. <laughs> and now the meteorologist is going to the game. So it's like now there's a chance of rain. Yeah, and we need the rain. I don't know how that works, but I can tell you it's not my fault. <laughs> sure. Yeah, it's not my fault, but there is some rain chances for tomorrow. I know it's hard to believe since we've been so dry. We've gone almost 20 to 21 days without any kind of rain. So today's going to be our last really dry day, and then we're going to start to see the rain move through tomorrow afternoon. But this morning, we're starting off with temperatures in the upper 40s to the lower 50s. We saw our sunrise about an hour and a half ago, and it was gorgeous. Gorgeous. We are seeing a lot of colors in the sky. Unfortunately, that is because the haze. It's pollution. Whenever we have more colorful sunsets or sunrises, that's because of the pollution in the air. So we're going to go through the rest of the 50s, 60s, 70s, eventually top off in the low 80s for this afternoon under partly to mostly sunny skies. So if you are headed off to the game today, first pitch is at 405. It's the second game with the Mets in town. It'll be in the low 80s all throughout the game and the sun will be beaming down on you. So don't forget to wear the sunscreen. So Futurecast has clouds starting to build back in starting overnight. And then tomorrow we're going to talk about some rain. So it's going to start up after lunchtime. So unfortunately, just in time for the first pitch tomorrow, 135, and we're going to start to see these showers move in from the south. So let's hopefully they get that game up and running. And it, maybe it might be a good thing that it happens a little bit faster because rain will start to move in and it's going to start downpouring on us. We're not seeing storm activity quite yet. If you're seeing a storm icon on your KDKA app and you're wondering what's going on with that, the storms aren't going to be until at least tomorrow night leading into Monday morning. So now we're pushing the clock forward into Monday morning and it's going to be a wet morning commute. I know that's something we haven't dealt with, but our lawns are rejoicing over this. They need it. A lot of the grass has been just completely brown. We've been having to run the sprinklers so you can give the sprinklers a break Sunday night into Monday because then we have more rain chances next week. These numbers have been at or near zero for the last few weeks, and so we need this rain to get us out of the drought conditions. They're going to be more spotty for the work week. The best chance for rain will be tomorrow night leading into Monday morning. And this is all because of a cold front. So we're going to be in the low 80s today and tomorrow. And then next week we're back down into the low and mid 70s. And I'm looking way ahead into the end of the week because, you know, downtown Pittsburgh is going to be packed full of Swifties as she's in town. It looks like we're going to have partly cloudy skies for the concerts Friday and Saturday. Low 80s for today and tomorrow. Tonight we're dropping down into the mid and upper 50s. And then next week we are going to be in the 70s for high temperatures and we actually have some rain chances. This is going to quench us, hopefully try and back off on some of the drought conditions, but then we're going to partly cloudy skies by Thursday and Friday.